Hey everyone, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we're diving into how you can extend power and data to your high power PDZ cameras over 1,500 feet away. Yes, you heard that right. 1,500 feet, that's 450 meters. And we'll do it using a 300 meters PoE extender kit. So if you've been struggling to get continuous connectivity for your long distance PDC installation, this is the video that you've been waiting for. And let's start by introducing today's star, the 300 meters PoE extender kits. Now this kit includes two IP67 waterproof PoE extenders, built tough to withstand the hardest outdoor environment. And what makes this extender special is their ability to extend both Ethernet data and PoE power up to 300 meters between the two extenders, which is perfect for powering high consumption devices like PDZ camera over long distances without the hassle of signal loss. And this kit is exactly what you need when running a high power PDZ camera at a distance where standard PoE just cannot reach. And we all know installing PDZ cameras at long distances comes with its own sets of challenges. Signal degradation, insufficient power, and the harsh environment can all cause issues if you don't plan properly. But with this extender kit, now you can easily achieve stable performance over 550 meters, ensuring your camera works flawlessly. So let's get hands-on and connect to a PDZ camera using our PoE extender kit. So now we're in front of the demonstration board. First, let's talk about other components. You need your PDZ camera mounted on a wall or a pole. And we have a big screen monitor here to display the video footage, along with the WebSmart PoE switch and a network video recorder. In between, we have a 300 meters high quality Cat5e Ethernet cable. And on each side, we have a PoE extender. Now, by using the weatherproof extenders can keep your setup safe from water in Greece. So let's begin. So let's connect our WebSmart PoE switch to the network video recorder first, using a short patch cord to connect them together. Then I'm going to use an other Ethernet cable to connect with our Westmart PoE switch. It will directly go to our first PoE extender. So you can send both power and data for our PoE extender kit. Now normally, you plug it into the input port. But in order for our PoE extender kits to work, we are going to do things differently. We are going to plug it into the output port. So we have to flip it around. Plug it into port B instead of port A. By the way, this is a special mounting tool for our PoE extender. It allows you to mount it on a DIN reel flexibly. So now let's connect it to port B, the output port. Fasten the neck and the gland. And when you do the installation, make sure you use a wrench to fasten them tightly so nothing can get in. And using the 300 meters Ethernet cable to plug it into the port A, which is the input port. And let's mount it back on the DIN reel. So this is a 300 meters Ethernet cable. We're going to connect to the second PoE extender. Now on this side, all we need to do is plug it into the input port. So we have the input port facing the input port together. Let's plug it in. And fasten it up. As you can see, the port B is already connected to an Ethernet cable and directly to the PDZ camera. And we can hear the sound of the PDC camera working. That means it's getting both power and data. On the big screen monitor, we already have the video feed. I'm going to wave my hand 
So you can see this is a live video. So the setup is pretty straightforward. And the IP67 weatherproof is crucial for outdoor installation. So you can take the extra step to protect your connection from the element. All right, so now it comes to the important part, power budget. PDZ cameras, especially high power models, need a significant amount of power to function properly. So if your power supply is inadequate, you may notice the camera rebooting or simply not working as expected. And at 300 meters with our WebSmart PoE switch, our PoE extender kit delivers about 25.5 watts of power, which is often not enough for high power advanced PDZ cameras. And in that case, you need to calculate your power budget carefully. And this is where the magic of power injectors comes into play. Now, if your PDZ camera requires more than 25.5 watts at 300 meters range, you'll need a high power PoE injector, preferably one that complies with IEEE AO 2.3 BT standard, because this standard allows for the delivery of up to 60 watts or even 90 watts of power. And here's our 60 watts PoE injector, perfect for extending power over long distances with enough juice for high power cameras. And if your camera demands even more, we also have the 90 watts PoE injector, ensuring seamless performance. Now, if you think this setup is too much, don't worry, because we've got an even simpler setup. We have an 800 meters long distance PoE switch that takes things up a notch. This switch is designed to transmit power and data over even longer distances with BT standard. Perfect for large scale installation that require more power and reach. So now let's see how do we connect it. As you can see, I've already changed the whole setup. Here we have our long range PoE switch. And in between, we have this 200 meters plus 300 meters Ethernet cable joined together using the coupler. So total, we have 500 meters. And on this side, we have a PoE adapter. We will need this PoE adapter in order to send back the signal all the way to our long range PoE switch. So just put it nearby your PDZ camera. But as you notice, there's nothing else in between, only a single Ethernet cable. So the setup is pretty simple. Let's begin. Again, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect our long range PoE switch to the NVR. And then using this 500 meters Ethernet cable to connect to our long range PoE switch. And the power and the data are coming through this 500 meter Ethernet cable to our PoE adapter. Just plug it into the input port. And the output port will use a short patch cord to connect it with our PDZ camera. As you can see, our PDZ camera is already getting the power and the data that it needs. And the beauty of this solution is its power and scalability capacity, making it ideal for large commercial properties or vast outdoor areas. So let's say we have the video feed. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is a live video. So whether you're using our 300 meters PoE extender kits for a quick and reliable solution or opting for our 500 meters long distance switch for larger installation, we've got you covered. And remember, both solutions offer fantastic performance, but the choice really depends on the scale of your project and power requirement. So that's it for today's video. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our next tag breakdown. Thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling, and I'll see you in our next video.